What are your five tips for getting a movie made? First off, be realistic. Um, don't ask for two million dollars if you've never made a film. Uh, chances are you're not going to get that funded. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say firstly be realistic about uh, where you are, about what you're doing. Um, create a situation where um, an investor can't say no, meaning have have a track record of work. I, I truthfully, I truly feel like uh, if you've never made a, a, a project, you should not be asking for funding. I feel like you should do it yourself in the beginning. I think you need to produce some things yourself because you need to um, to show a person why they should invest in you. Uh, I think um, it's hard to get people to just give you money. It's, it's like saying to someone, um, hey, I want to do heart surgery on you. I've never done it before, but I swear <laughs> to God. I'm going to, it's going to be the most amazing surgery you've ever had. It's like, it's hard to convince someone um, to take that kind of uh, a risk when you you haven't shown that you're capable of of uh, following through. And uh, I see that a lot with a lot of young filmmakers. They're asking for money right out the gate. Like, yo, $2 million, my first movie. And I'm just like, bro... You're not going to get that. <laughs> no one's going to give you that. Like, um, so I would say bring, bring, val bring a lot more value than you're asking for. Meaning, um, if, if, uh, if you have two filmmakers, if one has, say, never done a project before, but he has a script and a good story and an idea, and he's asking for a million dollars, and then you have another director who, has done four feature films and he's asking for a hundred thousand dollars. The 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 chances or the likelihood of the guy who's only asking for very little versus what he's already shown and uh, that he can accomplish, there's a there's a larger chance you're going to get what you're asking for. And so, um, you know, in the beginning, you want to set like a a more modest, more realistic budget, like something that. Um, you feel an investor could part with, um, but give them incentives, give them a reason to believe that you can actually do this thing that you're saying you can do. Um, and a lot of that comes from making the sacrifices early on and um, investing in yourself and making some things like it doesn't even have to be uh, features. It can be shorts, but just making things that you can show to someone and say, hey, like, I can do this. Like, this is this is what I have to offer. Um, and if it's if it's technically not good enough, do it again. Do it again. Like, don't don't always be in such a rush to ask for funding until you feel like you're in a position where you really have something to offer that is worth a person parting with um, money. Even if it's five grand, ten grand, whatever you're asking for, um, it may not seem like a lot, but it's a lot to them. You know, it's a it's a it's a risk. It's an investment. So, um, be realistic. Don't ask for the moon. You know, start off very small. Um, produce a few things uh, before you get to that point of asking, so that you have examples of your work, um, and also have a plan. Like, okay, you're going to make this film. What are you going to do with it when it's done? What are, what are your plans? Like, how do you plan to distribute it? How do you plan to uh, repay that investment? How, uh, uh, you know, are you... Um, and there's so many um, uh, avenues now um, with uh, aggregation sites, with... Uh, um, uh, sites like iTunes, uh, I think even YouTube does this thing now where you can put your film for sale on YouTube now, uh, and, and, and have a certain amount, but, um, but having a, have a plan, like have a, not just to make the thing, but how are you going to get this thing to the rest of the world? Um, have a solid plan. So I think those would be my, my tips. Yeah.
You've talked about being realistic, and, and I like that, especially here. I think that's that's something a lot of people don't always do. Mm -hmm. Has anyone ever said, you know, you got to really hype hype this up more? Because I, I see you being very level about everything, and then you look at your work, and it's amazing, and you're not mm -hmm. here sort of bragging. And I, I see a lot of that in this town. Has anyone ever said, I need you to really hype? Hype yourself up, and 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 you just kind of want to keep it more. Yeah, I've um, I've 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 heard that a lot, and um, the truth is, like, um, I win every time because I don't, you know, like if uh, it's harder to pay back a million dollars than it is to pay back three hundred fifty thousand dollars or, uh, whatever the case is, and a lot of times, um to be truthful when it comes to distribution um a lot of times depending on the the deal you're not getting these massive sums of money back i mean you have to have a certain um situations where like if uh, if of course if like if i cast denzel washington okay great like i'm gonna make this amount of money back <laughs> you know what i mean but if you can't afford denzel you can afford someone who's well known but maybe not as big as that may not have as much market uh uh value or whatever the case is at the time like um a lot of distributors are not going to pay that um over a certain amount and so if you um if you create things that are modest in budget the 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 chances of you making back your money plus uh, a large profit is is very good it's very high um you know so i think um it's sort of like the blumhouse uh, mentality right like uh they make their films for a certain amount they have more than enough money to start playing the hundred million dollar game like but when they look at sort of like like wow we're winning you know <laughs> like we're we're making these films for between five and you know ten thousand dollars and i mean million i'm sorry five and ten million dollars and we put some money into marketing and we're making these massive uh, sums so why would we now want to start pulling out our hair and like playing this hundred million dollar game where now we have to make two hundred million dollars back just to break even and you know that's like a different game up there so um in some cases it's it's uh smarter to just like um not overshoot all the time it's not um uh, and i'm not saying in every case uh every you know every project is different um but um i think that if you can set yourself up to win from the beginning you know what i mean um then i think it's smart to to do so like um if uh an investor gives me a million dollars. I don't. I, I wouldn't make one film for a million dollars. I would make three films uh, for that million dollars. You know what I mean? So I just think that uh, it really depends on the mentality of the person and how they perceive the industry. Like it, this is how it really is, and this is how the outside world sort of sees it, and. Um, yeah, I've always been a realist. Like I just think uh I just never found uh you know, I'm not the person who cuz I I like to put the money on the screen. Like I I don't think that having um there was a uh, something I I was uh I heard a long time ago. I think it was from Spielberg and he was talking about uh what's in the what's in the frame, you know? And about like this is all that matters. Like what's in the frame? It doesn't matter if like two inches outside of the frame there's tape running up the walls and and you know just all this weird stuff going on around it. Uh, it what what matters is what's in the frame. And like uh, that's the approach I take to filmmaking. I don't like to waste money. I don't like to waste investors' money. So I don't like to have just a bunch of stuff that you don't need um 10 trucks like full of lobster like you know and 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 then in the frame none of that value is there like i like to keep the value in the frame um and and not sort of be wasteful 
Um, and uh, yeah, not not spending on a, a bunch of like uh, honey wagons and being overly exuberant like uh, outside of uh, that frame because at the end of the day when audience sees it this is all they have to go by they don't know what happened uh, on the set they only know what they see and so um, I don't like to throw money at things that aren't going to be uh, beneficial to what's in the frame you know um, but some people enjoy that they like the the idea of uh, extravagance on set you know um, that doesn't mean the movie's going to be any good, but um, so I just take like the opposite approach.